All right, let's go find some ghost shrimp. I'm just gonna start on some of these holes. Those are the mounds we're looking for. Sometimes it can be a little tricky finding, oh, there's one, first pump. Here we go, you guys see that? That is a little ghost shrimp. That's what we're after today. These are pompano and drum candy when we're surf fishing. So we're gonna get as many of those as we can today and hopefully either today or tomorrow I'll go with some friends, do some surf fishing. Like I said, it's a network of tunnels. I don't know if you can see all this, but there is holes everywhere, mounds everywhere. Oh, that was a good one. Here's a bigger one. These guys are candy for the fish. And right now this water is cold. Over here, oh, there's another one. Okay, shallow definitely is the way to go today. Shallow, shallow, shallow. Man, I love this new pump. So much faster. Jeremy with Southern Roots Alabama taught me how to make this little sled, if you will. It has a mesh in the bottom. It has uh, PVC and pool floats. And you just tether it to yourself and you can pull it around. This is going really well. I'm going to get as many as I can of these today with hopes of going surf fishing this afternoon and or tomorrow with the guys. I'm gonna put the ones I've caught so far in the angle. All right, let's offload some shrimp. See, these guys are pretty cool looking. Okay, let's get back to it. All right, back at it. We cleared out the first round of ghost shrimp. Now let's go look for some more. Some holes pay off, some don't. There's one. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. He's a good size too, look at that guy. Look at that one right there. He's pretty big. Look at the claws on those suckers. Make great bait though. Three ghost shrimp in that pump. So what I'm doing is I'm just in a muddy bay today. More of a muddy slash sandy bottom. And I'm just going along finding these mounds, these holes, and I am just pumping away as fast as I can, trying to cover as much territory as possible. Man, I'm getting them like probably at least every other hole. Check out this monster. Oh yeah. The reason we love ghost shrimp so much is because you're really looking for, number one, native food sources in the surf zone. These ghost shrimp are there. Number two, you're looking at feeding patterns. And we found in the winter especially, there are a ton of black drum in the surf. So because we know that, we know they like to feed on these ghost shrimp, we're gonna harvest as many as we can. Offload these suckers and then continue my way further that, that direction. All right, let's go offload these guys. Then you guys can see how many we caught so far. Probably two dozen. Let's keep going. All right, round three. We've got about a dozen around so far. Doing pretty good. This one's a little slower rate down here. Got three so far. You probably can't see it, but right here, there are four holes right next to each other. I like to go after those as well. So oftentimes, yep, there's a little one. Oftentimes, you get multiples. Yep, there's another one. All right, this one's interesting. It has more of a pink hue. Let me tap the screen here. See that? Has more of like a pink hue at the back. Someone knows what that's all about. Drop a comment. All right, so today I think the number one thing I can tell you is buy a good pump because this is the game changer compared to what I used to use. Now again, it worked. It just was a lot slower. Let's take the sled, go drop it off in the angle. This is a huge one right here. I have big hands, but that's a big shrimp. Man, I'm so excited to go surf fishing now. It's been a while since I've been able to get out and get quality ghost shrimp like this. In my opinion, your chances at catching good quality fish in the winter increase like fivefold, maybe more, if you have the right bait, right food source. In my opinion, it's these guys. All right, we got our gear and we're re relocating a little ways down the shoreline. Bait's up here. Let's get to it. Whoo! Check out the claw on those suckers. They got like this needle thing. See that? This needle right on the edge. She's like going for my finger. No, thank you, sir. You can see this one's like a decent sized one and then there's these little itty bitty guys. I always like the bigger ones. More surface space for your hook. All right, so you can see, got a, about a dozen there, maybe like 10. Nice, there's another one. Little guy. See him? <laughs> you can hear him probably tinking my... There we go. There he is. It's little, is that a little calico spotted crab? Well, there's a good one. Here we go, it's a good bait. I love them with the big old claws. Fish look at that and like, mm-mm-mm. Tasty. Here we go. 
Nice ghosty. And look, I caught some ghost shrimp. How cool. One, two. two. There's a little bitty guy. Three. An even smaller guy. We're gonna throw him back. And then Whoa, this guy. guy. Yeah, he is a bigger guy. It's a good bait right there. Oh, I got three in that one. <laughs> Check that out. Got three ghost shrimp, one pump. That's cool. All right. Whoa, what? You've got a lot this time, dude. What do you think about that? It's pretty cool. Look at the shrimp. Look at Mufi. Yeah, look at all the shrimps we got. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoa, that one. That He's one. holding on. Seven, eight. Ew, much. Nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, oh, 14, they're, they're, they're 15, 16. These two I'm letting go because they're so little. What? Check it out, guys. I think we did pretty well today. Oh, All right, let's take off. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.